Hello people with the spirit of learning, Angar Rizky is here and thank you very much for coming back to my YouTube channel. To this video, I'm gonna show you how do we make the long shadow in the Android development with the free library that I just found it in the GitHub for the Android Studio. Well, basically, long shadow is used to the flat design. So this is the example of the flat design. Wow, amazing, right? Every single flat design has the long shadow to make those elements looks like touchable and more beautiful okay everyone with the spirit of learning let's get started okay so basically i just finished this design with the uh, you know adobe xd and we're gonna try to implement this uh, long shadow in this tutorial you know so basically this long shadow is from uh Harjot. i really thanks to you Harjot, to make it more more beautiful and first of all, you have to copy this uh, implementation later on. But uh, you know, I have provide one icon, happy. <laughs> yeah, this is that I'm gonna use in this design, you know. And I have to make a new Android Studio project here. Like maybe a profile Li app. Okay, and next, next, and next. And then after that, finish. So you have to wait until a couple minutes in terms of the gradle, the gradle build, okay? And I think that it depends on your uh, performance, I mean the specification of your laptop. If you're using the Macbook, it's gonna be much faster than Windows, okay? Okay, the next one, I'm going to copy this uh, happy face to the uh, drawable, RES and drawable over here. Just copy in the drawable, okay, and then we're gonna close this Java, and then I'm going to preview the current design that Android Studio has provided for us, and for this hello world, I think that I'm gonna use it to change to another sentences, okay, so I'm going to replace this hello world with my name, Angariski. And then I'm going to change the text size to be maybe 26 SP. And then after that, I have to change the text color FFF. Okay. And then if you see in this design, the background is uh, differently, you know. So I have to follow the design carefully by replacing this background like this. Okay. Without hashtag. And I have to go to styles in the value styles to remove the action bar. Okay. So I don't have the action bar again. And I have to go to colors to replace this uh, color primary dock with the same color like the way we did in the background of the app. Like this. Okay. And just remove this. Okay. And after that, we have to use the this one uh, dependencies. Just copy, and I have to go to a uh, build gradle, and I have to pass over here. You know, and then after that, you have to sync. So it's already synced. So I just want to close this, and then the way we have to use is following the doc the documentation as well. So you might have to copy all of the source code and go to the XML like this. And if you see this red color, it's because of this. So you have to redo the last step, change the color, okay? And for this one, we have to replace with the happy. Cool, okay? And then I just want to move this picture to the top and move this uh, paragraph the text view so I think that I have to move this text view to the top and then I could move easily like this okay and then move again this text view over here okay cool 
and I need another text field here. I make just want to uh, need to duplicate all of them. So for the top one, we need to remove this and change it to the Jakarta, Indonesia. Okay, I'm going with the 16 SP. And we just need to move and move here, okay? Like this, okay? Let's go, yeah. So after that, uh, we need to provide the button. If you see, there's the button over here, right? So we have to uh, make it customized with a drawable. So I need to copy this hex code and go back to the Android. RES into drawable we need to prepare the customization of this background background button okay and we have to go to the uh, selector and replace it to be a set and change it to the solid color okay and then we need to change it to the corner, give the radius about 200 dp, like this, okay? And after that, in the button, we have to replace uh, that button with the background. So for layout width, just go with 270 dp and 50 dp. And the background, we have to replace with the background button, okay? And we have to give the text color FFF, and the text one is the sign in, and the text size is uh, about 20 SP, and all caps, text all caps is false, okay? And we just need to uh, moving here at the bottom like this and then like this okay and we move to the top okay but you know there's another text view uh, below of the button if you see here so after that we have to prepare this uh, text view below of the button so we have to go to the Android studio and let's write something here just copy from here copy and then paste okay i'm going to change this text view to the another one which is a uh, create new account okay and i just want to remove this so that after that i'm going to make it to the bottom And just like this and for the button we have to click here and give the coordinate here okay so it's gonna be cool okay and give the little margin you know and right to the top okay amazing so we just need to try uh, this kind of design uh, let me make it better first okay okay let's play in the emulator final result that we just did it wow looks cool right so there's a shadow behind of this a picture so if you want to customize another shadow that you might want to follow the trendy of design you could do that just read the documentation carefully to use the blue radius angel and anything Okay, so thank you very much for watching and see you. Okay everyone with the spirit of link, that was amazing and I hope it was useful for you. And please let me know if you are still confused on this video. Just write on the comment in the video's comment. If you wanna appreciate my YouTube channel by hit that subscribe button, like and share this video with your friends. Thank you everyone with the spirit of link, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.